Hypothyroidism is one of the most underdiagnosed endocrine conditions in the entire world. In this video, I'm gonna tell you 10 skin signs to look for. And when I say skin, I'm, I mean skin, hair, and nails. And also at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you the, the complete thyroid test panel to ask your doctor for so that you can have your low thyroid diagnosed and therefore treated and improve all 10 of these skin signs. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician, and I've been doing this for over 20 years. Let's talk about the 10 skin signs of low thyroid or hypothyroidism. By far and away, the most common skin sign of low thyroid is dry skin. Now this can be patches of dry skin, or it can be just a dryness of the skin over the entire body. This is very often accompanied by itching of this dry skin. And this will be itching without a rash, okay? So if you have a rash and it itches, then get your rash treated. But if you have dry, itchy skin with no rash, no underlying cause, that could be undiagnosed hypothyroidism. The next is having pale skin overall, uh, much paler than you would expect it to be. And it can very often have a slight yellowish tint to your skin. This is a buildup of beta carotenoids in your blood. This can be from an undiagnosed low thyroid condition. Number three is changes in your nails, your fingernails and your toenails. And by far the most common changes are that your nails are more brittle than they should be. They are thicker than they should be. And they're very slow growing. The next skin sign to look out for is changes in your hair. This includes a diffuse thinning of your hair. This means it's not coming out in patches, but just getting thinner all over. Also, uh, in the same regard as your skin, your hair will be more brittle. It will be more slow growing, and it will be a much finer hair than maybe you used to have. These are all symptoms of undiagnosed hypothyroidism. Next is a particular thickening of the skin on your palms of your hands and on the soles of your feet. And this is not the same thing as a callus that comes from repetitive work or from being a hard worker or from walking miles a day. This is thickening of the skin on your palms and soles for no reason whatsoever. The next is a change in your eyebrows. It's very common to lose the outer one third of your eyebrows or for the, the eyebrows to become much thinner on the outer one third of the eyebrow. Next is facial swelling. And I'm gonna put up a few pictures here so you can see this. This is a very particular kind of swelling that's been known in the medical literature for decades but doctors very often just think, oh, this patient has a fat face. I don't really recognize this as a sign of hypothyroidism. The next is very slow wound healing. This can be a minor scratch or a much more significant wound, but instead of it healing in days or weeks, it can take weeks or months for this wound to heal seemingly for no reason. This can be undiagnosed low thyroid. Next is, you remember the thicker skin on your palms and your soles of your feet. Well, you can also have cracking of your palms or your finger pads or the soles of your feet and your toes. These cracks, again, due to the slow healing, they will crack open, they will be itchy, and they will be very, very slow to heal if you have an undiagnosed hypothyroid condition. And then finally, is a just an overall decrease in the amount that you can or will sweat. So when you're in a very hot condition, you just don't sweat as much. This can lead to possible heat exhaustion, uh, but it can absolutely be a symptom of hypothyroidism that is currently not diagnosed. Now, all 10 of these can also be due to a hypothyroid condition that's currently being undertreated by your doctor. So you may, may be taking thyroid replacement hormone, but still have many of these symptoms. In that case, you're probably not taking enough of the thyroid hormone. Most doctors want to treat your lab results and not treat your symptoms. And so you might tag your doctor in this video or share it with them and say, hey, I still have a bu bunch of these symptoms. 
Is it possible I'm not on enough thyroid replacement hormone? Now let's talk about the complete thyroid panel that you need to adequately diagnose and therefore treat uh, all the different kinds of hypothyroidism that, that a doctor might encounter. But very often all the doctor wants to check is just a TSH or a thyroid stimulating hormone and perhaps a T4 or a free T4, but they very often don't check the entire list and here it is. You definitely want your doctor to check a TSH. That is very important, but it's not the end all be all. You also want your doctor to check a free T4 and a free T3. These are very important for seeing a complete picture of your overall thyroid function. You also want your doctor to check a reverse T3. Very often uh, your, your thyroid hormone can get trapped in the T4 state and you're unable to convert it into the T3 or active state because you're converting too much of the T4 into reverse T3, which is not active at all in the human body. You also need a TPO antibody and a TG antibody. These two antibodies look for the various different kinds of autoimmune thyroiditis that can ultimately lead to an undiagnosed hypothyroid condition. You are now an expert on the dermatological signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism. So not only can you look for these signs and symptoms in your own skin, you can also look for them in the skin, the hair, the nails of your friends and family members as well. And if they have more than three of these skin signs and symptoms, you can give them the complete list of thyroid labs that they need to have checked and send them off to their primary healthcare provider for a full lab panel and hopefully the proper treatment for their undiagnosed hypothyroidism. Hope this video helps. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.